Nagraj Manjule comes with a true winner. Will it be a winner at the box office? Time will tell. I suspect it will not because it is a good movie and we in our country have a tendency to worship mediocrity and eschew anything of good quality. Slum Soccer, Vijay Barse, these are names and tales we know. The story about a man who got slum dwellers who were wasting their life as drifters amidst drug, gamble, crime, theft into focused players of football and how it sought to reduce crime and bring about a change in their lives and give them a purpose to live. It is a story we know in the context of Vijay Barse. Now we have Vijay Borade, the protagonist in the film. I wonder if he really is the protagonist in the film because I think the theme is the protagonist. The theme of people drifting without purpose and the need for purpose to get them away from the drift is what Nagraj Manjule, the Sairath filmmaker, labors and does extremely well with Jund. It had its hiccups, the movie. To have been released a couple of years ago, it suffered COVID and then it suffered litigation <clears throat> and finally it made its way to the theatres, some almost unannounced. Reports at the theatres do not suggest that it is a great success as a box office film. I hope that trend will stand corrected. Because this film is worth seeing. More importantly, it is a film worth encouraging and good cinema, few and far between as it is in our country. It is an opportunity for cineasts to savor. Very simple storyline of a motley group of youngsters who have nothing in common except poverty, rejection, some wild dreams, some substance abuse, some liquor on the sly, some liquor brazen, some theft from mobile phones to charcoal in moving trains reminiscent of Gunde. And a retiring professor from a casual look to a focus change, how he brings about this miniature change of large effect, slum soccer, jund is not just a jund, it is a team. It is this evolution that Nagraj Manjule works out beautifully. Cinematically, the film is interesting also from its grammatical view. Watch the first half of the film, it is full of fizz, full of energy, explicits, runs, rounds, thrills and Amitabh Bachchan is in the backdrop, he is not in the front. Not since Rang De Basanti do I remember a main star in a film moving away and giving space to the characters in the script. Bachchan does that. And when Bachchan knows that he is in the hands of a good director, he is a different ball game. This is not a film that many would list among his 10 best. I would, simply because he allows the script to master him. There are multiple opportunities for him to end up with his signature soliloquies, 
excuse them. And but for a scene in the court where, after all, Indian courts and drama are twins, he is picture perfect in underplaying his role. What happens with sport docudramas in our country? They invariably tell you the story of poverty, of rejection, of fighting a system, of training, of the nuances of the game that the coach knows and you and I are, are supposed to sit in awe when it is translated into a cinema. Fortunately for us, many of these templates are not part of the narrative and if they are, they are very fleeting. In the later part of the film is when Bachchan comes into his own, gets into the success mode of the story and how he converts one success and ensures that one swallow doesn't make a summer is the second part, more languid, more slow, but yet good. The last climax is contrived. You have to get this girl into the story. The music is brought in at right times. Camera work by Sudhakar Reddy is worth mentioning. I would have thought that Vaibhav Dabade and uh, Kutum Inamdar, the editors of the movie, have taken a longer vacation than they were entitled to. Three hours, give us a break. We are in the 21st century. We are in circa 2022. Nobody wants to sit for three hours and watch a movie. How long will you munch a box of popcorn? The filmmaker takes 45 to 50 minutes to establish his characters. Well, all of them are near brilliant. Ankush Gidam playing Don Masram. Priyanshu Kshatriya playing Babu, Rishabh Bodhele playing Katmal, Chirag Sharma as Chotu, each one of them leave an indelible mark in the film. Gully Boy is romance in the slum and it is a Zoya Akhtar factor to the film. Nagraj Manjule is hard hitting. And yet not like RGV, pleasantly hard hitting. He has got all his boxes ticked appropriately. Jund is one match that we will have to match up with. Watch it and give the director a thumbs up, not to mention all the support cast. Each one of them. There's this guy I name wouldn't know, who's a cheerleader for the boys playing. Watch him. What perfection. What character. For these and many other reasons, don't give up. Watch Jun at the theatres. So long. Thank you for hearing, and I'll sign off with my signatures, acknowledging Abhinav and Datu. Good day.